getting server issue so due to that i am not enable, uh, able to present from this one so i am remotely accessing one desktop one of my friends okay is it visible yes so previously what we have done we have done we have uh, used this extension uh one minute sorry 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 uh, so what i said uh, that is uh, means uh, uh, that in the extension we have used that uh, central structure de uh, uh, device editor and in that below section we got to uh, that when we are preparing our device the corresponding command also it will be it was visible okay so i already said that uh, using this command we can directly generate this uh, that uh, what is called this device also and again uh, by after generating this device we can use the as device to simulate this one so today uh, whatever command we have uh, that in that been uh, generated from here uh, let me show you the command no 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 so these are the commands we have already uh, getting uh, get uh, generated from the or received from that file and after that command we have uh, if we done the segregation of this then
this initial part is for the device manufacturer then contact tracing then uh, uh, defining the real eval window then we have the command for that uh, for the doping concentration and then finally the matching and finally matching successful so now we will see the same command here uh, uh, we will see that is there same command is available in all the space or not uh, means uh, in this uh, uh, how to use these commands to generate the device in sd in the central structure editor so Is it visible, I think? Okay. Uh, is it visible, no? Yes, the screen is visible. Okay. Now, you see that this is the uh, uh, central workbench. Uh, that is a little bit older version. So, here, when we go to the uh, when we go to the this project we can use the new project and then we can save this project okay new project uh, then you can save this project and then after that saving that you can go to the tool then from the tool you can add this uh, use this tool section and when you will click on the tool you will see that all the tools are available we have already discussed on that then we have to just click on the SD then OK then one tool will be appear here okay like this one if here I want to add a tool just go to the S device tool and S device okay and you will have a one SD tool and then after that you need to right click on the edit input and then the command when you will click on the command section a command window will be appear in your screen and there that all the command what you have uh, generated from the central structure editor window that will be I will paste here okay so let just wait for some time to come the command window to be appear. Okay, you got it. Uh, so, this is the your command corresponding command what was generated. We have the one silicon layer. We can uh, this here in this device. Actually, uh, what is that? This is the some modified or we have changed something like that. Actually, my uh, own system is not working. That's why I'm taking remote login for, for on some on devices. Uh, so this is the uh, SIO2 layer and after that gate polysilicon is there already three layers are there then we have this line this uh, particular line is means we have where we have created the junction the RGB color is different your thickness is the thickness is for the face pattern is different name is gate then we have activated that that contact by this line the below short line is we have activated this contact by using this line okay now after that we have created the source activate the source drain 
activated created the brain then activated the brain then created the body then activated the body okay after that using three we have placed these four contracts by using these four line after that we have the defining the real level window the real level window we have defined in here and from that we have done the constant profile placement selecting this reliable window this is the uh, constant profile definition one constant profile placement one definition one placement definition and it what is the place place is the reliable window one so in this way we have done this and here is a four construction is there due to uh, because there is a uh, body part is there earlier what we have uh, done last day there only source channel and drain was there but today's uh, structure you will see that there is a particular conventional what is a particular uh, popular conventional mosfet look like that will be look like that one only okay so after that refinement placement that is matching size 54 and 34 so it is quite higher than what we have taken yesterday so okay after that so uh, we have then what we will done we will do this sde model is our this uh, whatever the device will be generated that device all the file there's a uh, when you will run this uh, code that will generate uh, particularly two two three important parameter file where the meshing will be uh, structure will be created in separate file matching information will be there in the separate file all the doping concentration and the position of the gate will be uh, generated separate file so these files will be in the name of sde model okay so so there is a total first section first deposition then contact play, uh, generation contact placement then uh, window defining window defining uh, after window defining we have to done the doping and the meshing all the plot has been completed now what we'll do we'll save this one and just we'll run this one so we'll click on this one and we'll uh, click right click then we'll click left click run or you can directly do it by control r okay actually already it is uh, there so we don't need to save again yes so when it will mm -hmm. run it it will running it will see the your it will press the blue color if it is any problem is there in this file it will become red and it will as it is mentioned here it will become failed or if you dedicatedly or uh, about anything so it will be so the ab about it or if you run simultaneously that it will show pending or it will be so ready okay so when we have completed the simulation then it will show like this okay so this is the total uh, if you So this is the total device uh, where we have the uh, earlier uh, yesterday we have only source brain, uh, channel drain but now we have added on body also so this is the particular mosfet okay now after that wh whether matching is successfully done means we have similarly whatever we have uh, generated previously same thing has been generated we have gate silicon we have si2 or at foot oxide layer we have silicon base and sil in silicon base we have different doping concentration of source drain gate and the, we have contacts when we have real level window so everything it is clearly visible how different color means we have different regions and you can see the color green color means you have defining the real level window that means it is clear from here and that contact lines are different contact lines are there means we have generated the different contacts for this device and finally the all the real level window has been defined so now everything is defined of finally last, uh, last and remain is matching is uh, completely successfully done or not so the, for that we need to check the build mesh so mesh then we will go build mesh then we will do build mesh and it will show the meshing part
okay so again we have to select the what we have uh, selected earlier that the meshing file now you see that now it is meshing is clearly visible if you want to see more closely we are zooming it see the channel region is uh, the meshing size is very low drain side is quite comparable but source and uh, body region is quite low so the meshing is also successfully done so in this way you can generate the uh, file and all the meshing information is uh, saved in the sde model underscore match dot tdr file so now we have done this one now we have to close this one or you need to if it asks for save then it will you will uh, save also so when will be in closer yeah save modify yes Sir, you are not audible. Wait, wait. I am trying to run it again as it has become red.
Uh, so finally we successfully run that one actually there is a problem with this version actually when we directly save them there is a uh, problem in that uh, so don't worry uh, we have uh, successfully completed the sd device simulation then now we have to do the s device part okay now how to do s device part uh, now we again need to go to the tool add then again tool and you need to click s device and then OK. So when you will click the S device and OK, then then this S device file will be added, one blank file. Then you will click on the right side and you will set the edit input and you will go to the command. So what type of command you need to add? So I will uh, show you that one. So actually your total command can be segregated into six sections. Okay. So the file section where all the input file you will be uh, name of the input file you will be uh, given. That is one is the SD, uh, uh, SD model slash mesh.tdr. That is what we have created in the device file. You I have already told there that there is a one device file will be there that is uh, the name of the mesh.tdr. Then as device dot parameter that will be the your all the material parameter will be available there. Okay. Then output file. Output file means that is the current output, plot output, and a plot and only an output file will be there. Then that is the file section where the input and output file name will be given. Okay. Now there is another Now there is another section that is called electrode. In electrode, you will mainly able to uh, see that uh, that what type of what, how much gate voltage means electrode configuration will give that source how much source voltage, how much drain voltage, how much body voltage, how much initial gate voltage is required. Okay, so. That is can be defined in the electrode section. This is the section number two. And after that, there is a third section. Third section is that that is your physics section. Okay. In physics section, hello, am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay.
Sir, you are not audible. Hello. Yes, sir. Now, now your voice is clear, sir. Now it is okay. coming. So this is a S device manual. Here you can get the exact this this information. What I am saying, this information in detail. Okay. So up to this point, we have completed this section where we have uh, generated a device with meshing, uh, successful meshing. Now we are creating the uh, simulation file. For simulation file, we have the file section. What where we have see that that uh, we have the MOS for input MOS. dot uh, tdr something dot tdr file will be there so after that we'll go for that uh, electrode section This is a so
so internet connectivity resumes so this uh, file uh, so we have done the electrode part then after that physics in physics you see that uh, that is the fermi is there where uh, the fermi direct distribution function that will say approximate the how many electrons are there that can be used then electron density you can we can calculate uh, use in the physics file mobility you can you to use recombination process srh band to band turning process all the physics whatever physics you think that in your device is uh, going through that all the physics file you can mention here then after that that the plot section what plot you want to see e density s density total current that, that uh, sir your screen is not visible not visible इलेक्ट्रोड सेक्शन इज देयर गिवेन ऑल द इनिशियल वोल्टेज देयर ओके If you want to uh, do a simulation from minus one volt to five volt, so you will place the gate minus one volt here. So it will be the initial voltage, all the initial voltage. If it is there is no bearing is there, so it will be the final voltage also. Okay. Now how to define the final voltage? I will also define that one. Uh, the, in the physics section, you will give the all the physics parameter whatever you want. You think uh, if you need to see that. Way. Suppose you are you know, analyzing for the temperature, then temperature depending mobility model need to use. It is doping dependency mobility model. And along with the doping dependency, you need to use the temperature dependency mobility model also. Then recombination, uh, shock wave recombination model is used. The band to band turning based recombination model is used. Okay. So now this is the all. If you want to uh, band here, uh, old slot boom model that is the band gap narrowing model is also activated. Okay. So there are really different physics. model already has been defined in the manual so i will give you a short tour about the manual also for for 5 minutes uh, so after that when is all the models you have been used then you need to check the which mobility or what plot uh, what data you need to plot okay in the uh, first we have seen that one tdr file that all the data are there doping concentration acceleration uh, acceptor concentration electric field electrostatic potential band to band generation rate e mobility electric hole mobility everything is there that all the parameter whatever you want to need that if is uh, this uh, software is uh, capable to produce that then you uh, that will be available in the uh, uh, manual and you can add this keyword That e density is a keyword. E density is a keyword. Total current is a keyword. E velocity is a keyword. So all these keyword is related to all these uh, uh, parameter will able to for the visualization in the uh, after the simulation. So you need to add this all these parameter in the plot, whatever you want to see. Okay. After that, there is a math section where you are when there is the iteration type of process iter, uh, in the iteration type process and it will uh, solving the Poisson equation. Then uh, this math section will give the your iteration iteration mode control uh, system. Both uh, you can say that. So here you will see that the how much uh, error uh, reference or how much the maximum error or the minimum error that after that uh, the uh, your program will be stored how many iteration it will do in one go okay if of that that if it, if it is not uh, get that the minimum it, uh, rep, uh, error rate then it will do the again it, it will start, start the iteration process so the, in this other thing the command will be available in the math section then after that the solve one solve section is there in the solve section you will mainly get the what type of equation you want to solve you get the what type of physics parameter you already added what type of uh, you added the uh, initial source file you had the you added the output file you have added the uh, given the information related how for how, how much voltage how much work function we need to work that and then parameter file you have added uh, or you can include that one but parameter source you have mentioned then you have mentioned the all the physics file what are the physics is going behind that doping dependency mobility dip, uh, recombination rate everything you have mentioned then you have mentioned the uh, all the uh, that one uh, mathematical uh, iteration type 
uh, for the iteration process, the iteration homework information is there. All the iteration uh, information you have given in the math section. After that, the, you will start the solve section. In the solve section, you will, uh, what type of equation you will solve. It will solving the Poisson equation or Schrodinger equation or quantum correction along with the quantum correction or not. All the information will be given in the solve section. Okay. Then after that, uh, how many iteration or also it will be needed. And the in solve section also, you need to mention a goal section. Okay. And that goal will be how much uh, you have started initial value we have given in the electrode section. Okay. Then uh, in this section, you have in this electrode section, you have given the initial information and the solve section and inside the solve section, there is a goal subsection will be there and there will be mentioned the what is the your uh, maximum or end, uh, end voltage you need to want to uh, want to simulate. Okay, that information you will be given the uh, solve section and after solve section, uh, you when uh, after solve section, uh, when you are ready with all this section, then your give uh, when you run this file, then your total device, whatever you have uh, fabricated or created, that device will be uh, uh, simulate for uh, this initial value to the goal section final value, including this physics file. We'll calculate this plot parameters and it will go for the visualization section and including this math parameters. So after that, we'll uh, just save that one. Then if we run that one, just sorry, you can directly you if you run that one right now, then it will uh, showing some error. Then you need to go to the edit and the include parameter, and include parameter app as I already uh, showed you in the first day that when you go to the include parameter, then you will have the material file. Then you have to click the material and you need to add. I have already added all the materials required material means I have already added. Uh, uh, Silicon, or I have already added um, SiO2, gate polysilicon, all the three materials I have added. So, already materials are there. Okay. Now, after adding the material, you need to click the left click and right click, and you need to run this file. When you will run this file, you need to press OK. So, how will you know, get to know this, this file is running or not, or whatever is going? If you double click on that, here you will see the your output section. Okay, here you will see that the now file is started to running it. Okay, uh, the run run uh, running process is, has been started. Yeah, now it's iteration iteration has also started. This is the output section. If there is any error, this will be uh, shown in this section. Okay. If it's job related information, state statistics, and error also can be shown here in this section. Okay. In this parameter file, what does the parameter it is been using that is which can be shown in this file? This is the total parameter file, whatever it is using. Okay. So this all information will be available here. So in the output section, it is continuously still running and we'll wait have to uh, till it uh, the finish the run. Okay, it is required quite time. So when you will uh, complete this uh, section, after that, what happened? You will go to the extension. For you need to visualize. You have done the all the simulation pattern uh, done. Then you need to visualize. So you will run central visual. Okay, after running the central visual, you will see this type of window. Okay, and then you need to go to the open. And you need to select if you are it is a MOS type of kind of so you need to select plot file or TDS and what you want to see. Okay, now in currently we have a Currently, we are using SD model 2.dash.plot. Okay, 
when you will use uh, we have used the dash dot plot and dash dot tdr okay this two file nas dot tdr is the only uh, structure information dash dot tdr will give you the all the information whatever you given in the plot file okay that information so we if we open this two then you will if you open this two then you will have this two window okay there means here you can see that uh, it is if how to plot this current file i already showed you that uh, gate outer so outer voltage x axis gate outer voltage x axis so it will plot in the x axis then drain total current y axis then see there is a two line but this is the similar current because we have just uh, plotted the gate current twice okay now if you in uh, that you hit uh, x or we open that uh, sd model 2 whatever it is device name this device name model 2 dash underscore dash dot tdr then you will have the all the information related to the all the uh, whatever we have said that how much uh, you see that uh, this let me uh, zoom it we can omit this one we can close this one window or get in how to check the gate voltage or drain voltage or and another thing you can uh, i have already uh, told you last uh, first day that this is the log you can log do the log and you can do the normal graph from here also and how to extract the data okay you need to go to the data set and export xy data and when you will export that one you need to there's a two similar graph is there so you can do all the curves or you can select one curve or you can export the data for that and it will save in the same folder okay so after that so this is the process of exporting your data now you you see that you can you want to check the how much current is there how much uh, that particular that uh, uh, band diagram is there so for generating band diagram you need to select this one and you need to select a cut line cut line you can select and after that you can uh, just create on the band diagram figure and then you will band diagram will be generated for you that will will discuss but before that uh, let me close this yeah now it is good so now you see that this is the source this is the drain uniformly doping okay the doping concentration can be here from here is 1 into 10 to the power 19 maximum and that is equal to 1 into 10 to the power 5 uh, 2 into 10 to the power 16 flow it okay that is more likely doped uh, than this one okay so there's a matching size very small and you if you want to see that this is the this is the actually your depletion region midline okay so the depletion region formed in this way okay after that the if you want to see the electric field this is the doping concentration is there now you see, you see that uh, it is giving you the electric field parameter panel value of electric, electric field parameter you see this will give you the electric field parameter this is the absolute electric field okay you are getting uh, that is the absolute field. how much electric field is there so in the junction in the, all the uh, where the junctions are created that is the well mainly electric fields are there now if it is the current density the where is the current density absolute current density you can see that throughout the device in each and every box you will see you can find that one okay electron current density where is the electron current density for the whole is mainly majority of the current is flowing through okay so see the leakage currents are if there is any leakage current through the body that will be mainly connected by the hole and that is also in the negligible amount 10 to the minus 9 okay so we can see that uh acceptor concentration band to band generation as it is no band to band generation is that this tunneling is not there if we, we simulate the in tunnel pad then we'll see that band to band generation is also there how what is the electric field x this is the electric field x what is the electric field y that is the concentration of electric field y y direction electric field so electron what is the value of electron uh, uh, Infinity. What will be the energy band gap? Energy band gap always the same for the whole silicon, and it is 1.2. And further, all other devices, all other uh, materials also are fixed. 
then <coughs> if you not want to there is the one important parameter that is the surface potential so surface how the factor out the surface potential if you take out the electrostatic potential if you start anywhere then it will get you the surface potential the surface potential if you get in the surface immobilization whatever you want to see you will absolutely get everything from this parameter here window okay now if you want to plot anything in this one suppose anything suppose we are talking about the potential na? suppose if the potential is a important parameter let uh, ha now this one is the electrostatic potential okay now so after this uh, electrostatic potential when we do the x y cut so see we got the electrostatic potential now it is maybe not in the exact position so what we need to do we need to slightly become lower than this one then see this is the this one is the electrostatic potential of this device okay similarly if you want to for the same cut i do want to know the for the same cut i want to know the electric field so what to do that just click on the electric field you will get the electric field for the same cut okay now if you click on the uh, abstract concentration you will get the abstract concentration and every parameter whatever you think of so this is the total use of the your visualization uh, visualization tool so you have done you have created your device using sd then you have copied your command or you if you have already have uh, your command or you know the command then you can directly uh, go to the sw uh, central swap bench you can directly go to the central swap bench so you can directly go to the central swap bench and from the central swap bench you can directly uh, what is called um, um, from that central swap bench you can directly go to that uh, uh, write the commands and you can generate you can generate your device then after generating your device it will create the mesh.tdr file and the mesh.tdr file can be used in the s device where you will keep the, all the physics and all the parameters in the s device section you will in the file section you will give the input file and output file and from that you will get uh, what is called uh, you will get the all the necessary results drain current electricity potential electric field doping concentration and all other parameters whatever you want to uh, visualize that when the all the parameters are ready after obviously in that you should make, uh, remember that you need to add the parameter file always okay now maximum time uh, we researcher do what we do when we start the initial initial days we forgot to uh, add the parameter file so without parameter without device specification because uh, software don't know the device specification device specification case specification or material specification can be only be identified using this uh, material uh, that file only okay so so after that uh, when you have done with this one and uh, then you need to open the visualization file uh, that uh, the as visual or inspect in there you can directly uh, check that uh, what is what, uh, what is the uh, in, uh, output of this device and what is the uh, what is the output of this device and what is the uh, every all other uh, uh, parameter of this device so you can check that one in that file okay so by doing that uh, i think you can successfully simulate a device and you can analyze that one when you change your structure you can directly copy your command from one sd file to another sd file and directly so it's a one time hard work for uh, generating the first device and after that you are good to go okay so now i'll just show you so your feedback form is already given in that one uh, that section 
now i'll just uh, shortly briefly show you the uh, uh, manual for 2 minutes sir yes sir sir will you please show once the path that we have shown in between regarding the uh, i think i think it was for the s device the physical uh, physical uh, what physics it was related to the physics input and output from where we can get it which one i uh, actually uh, can you say uh, can you it was it was regarding sir s device i think so s device uh, means so what in the what s device prob probably you have shown that uh, uh, in some folder you have gone through some folder and from there we we have a uh, you have shown us that uh, there is some text available there by which we can get the regarding the physics input and output something kind of thing okay that is in the manual uh, i think i you yeah, from where it can be uh, traced sir okay 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 i am giving you i you were talking about i think i think you are talking about this section uh, this physics section the content of this physics section yes yes i was talking about the this section not specific this section it okay. the, the text so, was i think the text was related to all yeah. kind of as device and that yes, is the yes. plot that is the physics something like that where okay, the, okay. there was some folder shown in between you see that this is the central device yes 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 sir it was there from where it is there sir uh, you any installation uh, where you will get the software in the software i can show you the folder where you can get it. Uh, this is actually uh, okay. the folder where the, all the manuals are available okay you see that all the manuals are there as device manuals are available as team device uh, as visual as math each and every tool whichever is available it is available if you if you are using oh. this tool so you will go to this thing of this and then it get center of scdb in oh no sorry not scdb uh, that this one as in scdb we have the temporary folder and this you will find the manual okay in this manual okay sir okay okay sir okay thank you sir and here uh, what i am saying showing this you see that you have the introduction of the devices in this figure that specific physical devices and mixed mode signals mixed mode simulation means where we are doing the ac simulation okay the capacitor this is a mixed mode simulation okay for that for numerical experiments for each and everything whatever you need in the as device file all the things are available here okay the physics in the as your age what type of physics you want to need everything Poisson equation, quasi Fermi potentials, carrier transport mechanism, kya kya kya, what type of carrier transport mechanism you can use, all the parameter files are there. That is carrier temperature equation, all the equations, whatever is there, whichever you use, hydrodynamic model, thermodynamic model, whatever you want to use, whatever boundary condition you want to use, ohmic contact, short key contact, what type of contact you are, want to define, everything is there. Okay. So everything uh, in transport mechanism also, everything work function, how to do the metal work function variation, everything you can find from this. If it is on the band structure, uh, you know the band structure narrowing can be done by a different, uh, due to the different reasons. So all the band structure narrowing models are already available here. So you need to use this use this key uh, keyword and use to place in the uh, physics file only. Then the incomplete ionization model, quantization model, everything. 
is the quantum correction models are there this is one type of quantum machine and one of the quantum correction models mobility models all the mobility models drop independent temperature dependent all the mobility models are available here you can select your mobility models particular your appropriate mobility models for your device and you can using that key you can directly get the appropriate mobility model generation and decomposition process what type of generation dependency temperature dependency doping dependency doping and temperature dependent what type of dependent model you want to use you can use directly from here okay so each and everything is using this simulation and uh, uh, yesterday one person is asking for the uh, uh, that one traps and charges so in traps and charges you can directly find the syntax for the traps and you can directly use this one in the your physics file and you can go you are uh, uh, good to go with the trap in uh, trap analysis also and the degradation model you know, all the and organic devices also you can generate optical generation also you can be analyzed in this software and uh, noise calculation radiation model everything you can do from this one even for the tunneling for the or by the direct and indirect tunneling both type of bent to bent tunneling and directly uh, direct tunneling both the tunneling can be uh, measured from the uh, uh, required keyword to measure this type of tunneling you can be found in this chapter so hot carrier injection model all the models whatever you need all these thing is available here just you need to go to this and you need to find out what appropriate thing is for you which one is appropriate for you and if you uh, as i got the particular question for the syntax for trap so you need to say that in the physics file for that particular reason you need to give trap so you will get that one if you want to interface wise so in interface wise also you can define okay uh, yes a yeah, material interface which material silicon oxide is all silicon oxide material will be kept the interface what type of inter uh, uh, interaction media and mid cap whatever what if that is the meaning you need to know the exact what you need when you know what exact you need you can easily find it as device this file that what exactly you want to add in your device okay so this is the one example of prep how to what type of code you need to you uh, need to use in your prep simulation if you want to that use in the or uh, trap analysis or fixed uh, surface analysis okay i think uh, that's all for today and uh, to uh, tomorrow we'll again uh, start with uh, um, we'll again uh, start our session at 10 am and tomorrow is the last day so tomorrow we'll mainly have the uh, one uh theoretical session that is the uh biosensor theory and modeling approaches tfet by using tfet today you have seen that biosensors in different tech, uh, electronic technology but tomorrow they have, uh, tomorrow we will have the particular lecture on the tfet as a biosensor so they uh, one particular faculty from tagore college of engineering as the professor and balamurugam sir will be presenting this one then after that we'll have the simulation and visualization of advanced mos there will uh, most most probably show two simulation uh, simulated uh, that one on tfet or tfet or we'll see that one and then we'll conclude the conclude the session by uh, the in the video lecture session that will be from from 3 uh, 3 pm to uh, 3 15 3 15 3 30 or so so i hope everyone will be present there uh, tomorrow's session and we have we can successfully complete the uh, mdb by tomorrow and please uh, tomorrow session uh, last session uh, that was feedback form you should fill up because uh, they from there will collecting the uh, your uh, affiliation and that and whatever you will select that will in that affiliation only uh, your certificate will be generated so to present tomorrow and uh, to attend the last session last lecture and hands on session on the 5 day fdp series thank you everyone and before uh, leaving this meeting if you have any question in today's session you can ask or else you can uh fill up the feedback form thank you or uh, rest of um, all who have uh, completed the feedback form they can uh, leave the meeting no problem
सर आर यू देयर सर आर यू देयर 